This video covers the diagnostic triage method such as visual and microscopic observation, moisture chamber, and culturing. Diagnostic triage methods are the performance of procedure based on information to diagnose disease. First, when you get samples from a client, check the form. The form provides information on the samples, symptoms, disease distribution, and other relevant information. Then, observe the samples. You can use a hand lens or loop or detecting microscope to look for signs of the pathogen. If symptoms or signs are not clear, you can make a moisture chamber, prepare wet paper towels, a plastic bag, and a labeling pan. Put the sample inside a bag, seal the bag with a rubber band or twist tie to preserve the moisture and leave it at room temperature around 25 Celsius. Check the samples for a symptom or sign every day. Then, you can see clear symptoms or signs. Here, you can see salmon colors pollination, which is sign of Bolutella pussy, the cause of Bolutella blight or bug suit. After the visual observation, you can check the sample with a microscope for fungal or bacteria pathogen. For fungal pathogens, add a drop of water on a slide glass, then place a sticky tape on the sample and remove it several times to pick up spores and put the tape on the water on the slide. To determine if the disease is caused by bacteria, you can cut the symptomatic tissues of the sample, place it on the slide, Cut it into small pieces on drop of water and put the cover slide. If necessary, you can add more water beneath the cover slide. Under the microscope, you can see the bacteria ooze from the leaf. For a specific diagnosis, culture the pathogen on a plate, prepare 10% bleach or 70% ethanol, sterile water, sterile paper towers, and medium such as PDA, for example. For fungal culturing, cut the symptomatic tissues into small pieces with sterile blade. Put the small pieces of samples to 10% bleach or 70% ethanol for 30 seconds to sterilize the sample surface. Rinse it in sterile water for 30 seconds. Use sterile paper to make them dry and place the samples on the plate. After that, label the date, type of plate, and samples. Bacteria culturing, after the sample surface sterilization and rinsing step in the water, move the tissue onto a new sterile plastic plate, drop a sterile water on that, and cut the symptomatic spot. After that, Deep a sterile roof to pick up bacteria oozing from the tissue into the water and spread it on the culture plate in a quadrant striking way. In this method, the plate is divided into four equal sectors and each sector is streaked sequentially to dilute the bacteria number. This method is a rapid and crude way to isolate bacteria and require further purification steps. Bacteria are incubated at 28 Celsius for optimal growth, but plates can be also be incubated at room temperature around 25 Celsius. After colonies grow, subculture to a new plate starting from a single colony to obtain a pure culture. Once you get a pure culture, you can identify and diagnose the plant disease based on morphological and biochemical tests. To summarize, the process starts by reviewing a diagnostic forms and visually observing the samples for symptoms and signs. If no symptoms and signs are observed, the samples are placed in the moist chamber. If the symptoms and signs are visible, the symptoms are further inspected under a microscope. 
Lastly, the samples are cultured for disease identification. Thank you.